If you care honestly about the facts, you've got to ask yourself, does this stuff work? Does a piece of quartz like this, in fact, do anything? Here we have some crystals. Now, a great many people say they have certain abilities, certain powers. And if I tried to add up all the different types of stones, there would be a really ridiculous number of so-called stones which are available and supposedly unique. Most of which have merely a minor compositional difference, which doesn't really account for much in reality, but as far as belief, says something. Examples of quartz are quite common. People's claims about them. They would claim of this quartz, which is Herkimer Diamond, which is merely a slight variant upon the uh, quartz family, that it has extra powers. But really, does it actually offer anything more than everyday quartz? Especially if everyday quartz, just standard quartz crystal, is just a crystal. A crystalline formation, but in reality has no special properties whatsoever. People find natural glasses such as obsidian and tektites and various other forms and they make out they have some kind of power too. Very often calling them crystals even though they're just natural glass. Indeed some people say the same of this. No it's not a cod liver oil tablet, it's a piece of amber. This stone here it's very often called rutilated quartz and supposedly has certain special values. But what are those values? Oh, it's meant to energize people and give them a boost. How do people know this? Well, people who believe in crystals said they get this kind of feeling from it, and then people repeat it. As with any number of crystals, stones, minerals, or whatever the New Ages are holding on to at the moment, well, you end up with people forming their beliefs around it. Something is repeated, suggested, it's said to be the case. And then, as a result of people claiming it to be so and making it seem to be real, people kind of make it real. The claim is often that crystals have certain powers. But if those powers are in fact real, they would be demonstrable. Why wouldn't they be? If they're genuine powers, abilities, gifts, whichever term you prefer, it would be demonstrable. There are some crystals that supposedly cure cancer, according to believers. And yet we have no evidence of this, other than testimonials. What does this tell you about the nature of this claim? When a great many claims like this are put to the test, they actually provide no positive results. And of course, in scientific results, you don't have a way of gauging negative results. So naturally, a great many people assume, oh, because you haven't got the disproof, it must be a kind of proof. Although in reality, this is complete and utter bunk. There doesn't appear to be any evidence for the power of crystals, and I could run through some popular examples, but it hardly seems to be worthwhile. The claim very often is just by holding the crystal you end up ensuring that it works for you. However, people who leave their crystal at home, and they think they have it with them, still get the same effect. So it may seem obvious, but a person with a crystal and a belief in the crystal ends up with an effect. A person with a crystal disbelief has no effect. You may say the disbelief causes the no effect, but you're unwilling to explore the possibility that the person's belief causes the effect. A person with no crystal but a belief that they have their crystal causes an effect, suggesting the psychological nature of it. You can say from the belief here that they're bound to have an effect because of the belief. It's quite clear. Belief, effect. What's the difference here? Crystal, no crystal. Now in some cases you end up with a crystal or mineral and the belief causing the effect. So it's the crystal or mineral and the effect brought about by the belief. In other cases you have man-made glass or other items which are in fact not natural and yet belief causes an effect. There are various stones, such as opalite, amongst others, which are basically just glasses. They're man-made, and a great many gems are made in factories too. The low-grade nonsense you might well buy in a crystal shop may well have been altered too. And it's very common in crystal shops to see these sorts of stones, which are in fact not 
natural. They're not really crystals. They might well be minerals, but they've been altered. But they're basically man-made or man-altered. And some of them are just simply glass. But the belief in them and the supposed properties, and this is from mainstream crystal experts, makes them supposedly work. It may well do some harm when people do not receive proper medical treatment. There are certain regulations in place and laws in place that demand that healers and new age professionals of various kinds do not make radical claims that they can cure cancer by simply doing Reiki or giving out the right kind of crystal. But in any case, still a great many people will not go to the doctor preferring to get involved in certain fringe practices. In the end, the key point is you can have your placebos, you can have your belief, you can have the ideas that you hold dear, however they will not benefit you in any real way. They haven't been demonstrated and the best you have as a new ager, as a spiritual person, is basically suggestion, stories, just simply a question of belief. Which is really interesting. I'm a genius, thinks he's so smart.